Are you excited about the rapture? Watch this. Well, I'm going to talk about the rapture today. I'm going to talk about the pre-tribulational view and the mid-tribulational view and the post-tribulational view and the pre-wrath view. And if that sounds like a foreign language to you, don't worry. We're going to define those terms very carefully today. And by the time that we're done, it's going to make a lot more sense to you. Now, I came across a, seminary, a, a cemetery in Indiana that had a tombstone. <laughs> And on the tombstone were written the following words. Pause, stranger, when you pass me by. As you are now, so once was I. As I am now, so you will be. So prepare for death and follow me. <laughs> okay, well, he had a sense of humor. One day, somebody was walking by and decided to scribble some more words underneath. And here are the words. To follow you, I'm not content until I know which way you went. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably smart, right? <laughs> of course, we don't have any such concerns about the rapture because it's one way. Straight up, we're going to meet the Lord in the air, and from that time forward, we will forever be with the Lord. Isn't that something to look forward to? <clears throat> you know, as I was contemplating the rapture this week in preparation for this weekend, it sort of came to me that I don't have a single problem in life that can't be fixed by the rapture. <laughs> have you ever thought about that? <clears throat> I mean, some of you might have an illness, maybe even a terminal illness. Well, that's going to be fixed by the rapture. Some of you are getting old like me. That's going to be fixed by the rapture. Now, I know what some of you are thinking. Well, I've got that big credit card bill. You're being caught up and you're up in the air and you look down at your bank. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, I didn't have that problem in my mind when I thought of this, but when you think about it, every problem that we've got is going to vanish at the moment of the rapture. And that's just one more reason to get excited about it. Now, the rapture may take place before this presentation is over. Some of you might be praying for that. <laughs> And you know, that would be just fine with me. I mean, it would be the ultimate sermon illustration. <laughs> right in the middle of my talk on the rapture, bam, we're with the Lord Jesus. <laughs>